Davidoff Cool Water. Even if you used to wear this fragrance or you haven't checked it out yet, don't miss this review because I'm gonna tell you everything there is to know. So I've been collecting fragrances for many years. I stayed away from this fragrance, just like I stayed away from Nautica Voyage because the more people talk about a fragrance, the less I wanna wear it. And in my opinion, it's definitely well worth the hype. The first time I sprayed this on, which was only about a month ago, it instantly transports me back to like when I was a kid and my father used to come in the room and wake me up for high school. He was getting ready for work and he always smelt of this cologne. So every time I smell it, it just gives me that brief little hint of nostalgia. And I absolutely love that. One of the number one cheapies that you can buy. But first, let's detail the smell. Top notes of green notes, coriander, lavender, mint, and rosemary. The middle notes are geranium, jasmine, neroli, and sandalwood. Base notes of amber, oak moss, musk, tobacco, and cedarwood. Now, what are you actually smelling when you spray on Davidoff Cool Water? Woo! I sprayed this and I asked a woman what she thought. She said it smelled like I just stepped out of a shower and used a very nice expensive shower gel. And I thought about that and I was like, wow, that's actually a really good way to describe the smell of this. It's aquatic, soapy, masculine, very green and bright. It kind of smells like you put on some Gillette shaving gel. I'm smelling a bit of that lavender. You're getting a lot of sandalwood. Underneath all of that, you're getting a little bit of the musk. A soap with green notes, lavender, and sandalwood. Cool Water was made in France by Pierre Bourdon. Women's reactions on a fragrance like Cool Water are pretty good. For the price, it smells very close to Green Irish Tweed by Creed, which is pretty much 10 times more expensive than this fragrance. I would say that Green Irish Tweed has a little bit more character and smells a little bit more high quality. I don't think it's worth like 10 times more the price. Like I said, this is a very well-known fragrance. It was being heavily promoted by guys like Snoop Dogg. I got the Johnson's Baby Powder and Cool Water Cologne, now I'm fresh. Do not expect to smell unique. This fragrance has been one of the most popular men's colognes since 1988 when it launched. It is a very harsh opener. It makes you feel like this is gonna have some serious projection to it. If you spray it, you're gonna fill a room. After about 10 or so minutes, the dry down kicks in and all of that harshness kind of disappears it turns into very fresh aquatic notes. When I first smelt it, I was thinking the same. I'm like, wow, this is a little bit too strong. This is kind of more of a fresh summer or spring fragrance. It's versatile in its use because it's kind of, it's not too offensive. So the performance on Cool Water actually surprised me quite a bit. Goes from being an extremely far projector to kind of more close to the skin. Two feet of projection, pretty nice sillage. You know, you're gonna have a nice trail. I'd say Davidoff Cool Water is gym approved. Or you're going to the office, you're sitting down, you're amongst peers, you're not gonna over overwhelm people with this fragrance, but do not spray it in the office because, I, like I said, this stuff is very harsh in the opening. Some people have said that this is an old man scent. I think that the majority of that just comes from the fact that this has been around for so long. It's not like this is the most new, off the market kind of fragrance. You've smelt fragrances that smell like this before. There's been a lot of stuff that has come along and tried to replicate this smell. If you're in high school, university, like don't be afraid to try out cool water. Make sure you try it on your skin because like I said, you're gonna be quite surprised. This is an 125 milliliter bottle. It's a tester. You wouldn't have any idea of knowing that it's a tester, but because I bought it as a tester, $23. I bought that on Fragrance Buy, so obviously that's a discounter. It's a staple in my everyday wear collection. It's pennies on the dollar to spray this thing. You're not going to waste much doing it, so should you buy this in 2023? Yeah, why not? But don't expect to smell unique. I'm not going to say that it's my favorite fragrance by any means. Keep it in your gym bag. You don't have to be afraid if it gets lost. Like, if I, if I lost my bottle of Green Irish Tweed, I'd probably start having heart palpitations. Oh, oh, where's my green Irish tweed? I, I, I paid $600 for that. Leave it off cool water from me gets a 7.75 out of 10. I have to factor in things like price, smell, versatility, quality. There's a lot that goes into it when I give something a rating. So I'm not just throwing out random numbers. So like I said, you will not go wrong with this fragrance. If you want another summer cheapy that will not let you down, click this review right here. It actually got a better review from me. I'll see you over there. Stay fresh.